Hello, my name is Evgeny, and I'll talk about the paper named Contrast to Divide. In this paper, we study learning with noisy labels problem, training a classifier when part of the labels are on. There exist many variations of this problem. For example, having even small clean subsets significantly simplifies the problem, so we don't use one. We focused on closed set noise, meaning that all images belong to one of the classified labels, and study both synthetic and real life noise. Usually, learning with noisy labels utilizes this warm up, regular supervised training on the noisy data. The motivation for using warm up is the observation that mislabeled samples converge slower, allowing us to stop at the point when the network generates meaningful predictions. Most of existing methods use either hard warm up when the learning with noisy labels procedure starts after X epochs, or soft one when the weights of the regularization term gradually increase with time. We identify two goals of warm up. Loss separability, meaning converges to low loss on clean samples without overfeeding on noisy ones, and feature extraction, meaning that network is able to extract useful features from data. However, there is no much we can do to improve warm-up in regular settings. Its performance is consequential and bounded by an avoidable memorization. We believe this is a major obstacle to improve learning with noisy labels. So first we wanted to check how good warm-up actually is. For that, we trained a noise detector on the loss values to measure loss separability and linear classifier on extracted features to measure feature extraction. As you can see from the figure, which shows the evolution of those metrics during warm-up, the two measures are correlated and peak jointly at the same time, which is of course unknown unless clean labels are available. Even if we use optimal warm-up lengths, there are no tools to improve the absorbed values. To solve the warm-up obstacle, we propose a two-stage framework named contrast to divide, or C2D. In first contrast stage, we perform self-supervised learning on the unlabeled data, obtaining high-quality initialization for the second divide stage, in which we use some standard learning with noisy labels algorithm. Similarly to transfer learning, this approach can work with any learning with noisy labels method. It also doesn't require any external data. And since we don't use labels during the training, noise doesn't influence first stage pro providing robust initialization. As for results here, you can see results on web crawled mini web vision data compared with state of the art. So d improves our existing approaches by two, three percent upon accuracy while using smaller network. On Cypher, it's clear that our method is especially efficient on high noise rate, improving by 30% for 90% noise rate. At the same time, we can see that for 90-95% noise rate, the existing learning with noisy labels methods are not very efficient for second stage, barely improving over vanilla cross entropy fine tuning. As an upper bound for learning with noisy labels performance, we can use semi supervised learning. When all noisy labels are removed, leaving us with partially labeled data set. From this table, you can see that C2D closes the gap between learning with noisy labels and semi-supervised learning for its lowest 20% clean or labeled data. For 10% clean data, the gap is just 2% of accuracy. To conclude, in this paper, we have identified a major obstacle to learning with noisy labels, which is warm-up performance. We have shown that self-supervised pertaining boosts warm-up goals, significantly outperforming existing methods. C2D is very straightforward, easy to implement, and simple to use. However, results for high noise suggest that existing learned noisy labels methods are unable to utilize good initialization in harder instances of the problem. In the paper, you can find more results and analysis of proposed framework, including study of image and training, additional data sets, and self-supervised training approaches. The code is available on the GitHub. Thanks for listening. And if you have any questions, you can contact me by the email you can see on the screen.